Before the 1940s, physicians and nurses considered infections as the sentence of death. When they dealt with infected patients, they knew right away that there was nothing they could do. All of that changed when antibiotics arrived. Deadly infections became something you recovered from in days. It seemed like a miracle. Those miracle drugs were discovered by Alexander Fleming, and surprisingly, he predicted something. He predicted that the abuse of these drugs could lead to a disaster. Mr. Fleming warned about it explicitly in his words. The thoughtless person playing with penicillin treatment is morally responsible for the death of a man who succumbs infection with the penicillin-resistant organism. I hope this evil can be averted. What Sir Fleming predicted is happening today. Antibiotic resistance is happening here right now. Can you imagine that you receive a patient with a simple infection and you tell him, sorry, I have nothing to do. Your disease is untreatable. The weapon that I was using before is no more effective. At Al Musa Specialist Hospital, the numbers were shocking. Over 5,000 AB prescriptions per month. And the bacteria resistant rates were terrifying. We decided to make an action to decrease antibiotic resistance. So we started a program called Antimicrobial Stewardship Program, which aims to use antibiotic wisely and appropriately. So the journey started from here, but the road was full of obstacles and challenges. Like any change, we faced aggressive resistance and the physician started to give excuses and they started to act defensively. It's impossible to specify the type of infection, bacterial or viral. My patient is going to die. We in the private hospital care about our patient satisfaction. We started the project as a pilot in the ICU and began to track the consumption of antibiotic. We learned together in this journey, starting from education, to guideline implementation and counseling. The result for the first year was unsatisfactory. However, the program was fully supported by the administration and the hospital committed to patient safety and quality as it is one of our strategic priority. So we decided not to give up and to continue our journey. Honest to God, at the beginning I was uh, resisting it. I didn't like it a second. I thought the, uh, the program is going to delay that decision for me. I lost control of the baby, that somebody is taking decision for us in the NICU. I think with time, especially with the, by the end of, uh, beginning of second year, the approach was different. They approached me in a way that it's still, it's your control, it's your baby, and you, the, you, are, uh, you have the ownership of that baby. But we are here to give you some scientific advice and see if you, you, you can, uh, it can work or not. So I start changing, and honestly, I like it at the end. Because we believe that the main reason behind our success is the compliance of our caregivers. So we decided to appreciate them. We recognized the best department, and we created something called the ASP Star and the ASP Champion. On the other hand, the one who are not compliant, we made focused meeting and we counseled them. In our OBD setting only, we used to have more than 40,000 prescriptions of antibiotic per year. That's around average of four to 5,000 per month. After antimicrobial stewardship program, that reduced to 2,000 prescriptions per month only. Maybe that's because of uh, patient preference or of physician fear of infections or complications, or, or mostly treating viral infection with antibiotic. So we realized that more than 50% of antibiotic prescription were unnecessarily. We reached this success because we work hard on that. To reach such success, you need to have a cooperative healthcare providers willing to show behavioral change in their prescribing pattern. Finally, we succeeded to reduce antibiotic consumption by 51%.